Welcome back to YouTube How To. This is your guide, Andrea Jean. Today I'm going to show you how to get 4,000 hours of watch time on one video and one video alone. I'm going to take you in the back end of a couple of my other channels. If you are new here, I have multiple YouTube channels. I teach you how to turn your passion into profit with the power of YouTube. But I'm basically going to dive into two years of studying YouTube for 40 plus hours a week while managing a full-time career. And I'm gonna show you the tips and tricks that I am now applying full force on this channel right here, which I believe will, it will get monetized to 4,000 hours faster than any other channel that I have done before. This, what I'm gonna show you here today could be a paid masterclass. You no longer have to watch any other video on this topic. I am giving it to you raw, live, and real. We'll go over the usual suspects like end screens and playlists and put in your description box, but we're going to go over some really useful things. So let's just go ahead, pop into my cleaning channel right here. And I would definitely take some notes. If I were you, I would take some notes, please. I want you to be successful. That is my goal for you. I recently quit my full-time six figure corporate job as a licensed mental health professional to do YouTube full-time. Now YouTube's a part of my business. It's not my only business. It's the vehicle. That's for sure. So let's go to this video right here. This is my most highly viewed video. If I had only done this one video on this channel, I would have got monetized so fast. I would have got the 4,000 hours so quickly. It has 2.6 uh, million views seven months ago, and it has already earned me, I think over $35,000. But this applies to what I call three month magic. Okay. And I'll get more into that here in a second. I will also show you another strategy that I have used, um, in which I appear in search. Let's go to grout. And I have a video that has, oh, it's nearing another million views. So this is a very different strategy that I applied to get this many views. This is my, I think, second highest ranking viewed video. And I'm currently making about $12,000 a month on this channel alone, just through straight Google AdSense. And currently I only have one ad in the beginning of the video. And if it's over eight minutes, I have one in the middle for, for most of the videos. Let me show you another little trick that I'm going to show you. So I'm giving you it up front, how you can do this on your channel. Let's go to this meditations channel. Now, if you've been around a while here with me, a while, <laughs> the past year, I haven't been at this too long. I've just been learning and studying and just this, I've made this my life. Um, I have a video on this channel. Let me go to oldest videos and it has over 100,000 views on it. It's this one right here. I learned a valuable lesson. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about this video at the end. You can see that I no longer do content on this channel. That is why this channel has taken longer to grow because it's been all over the board, all over the board. Plus meditations is a very specific sort of niche. If you're probably saying I've never done meditation before. I mean, that's the most people, um, what they say. So let's dive into the tricks. What I found is it usually takes about three months to for a video to really take off. I'm gonna show you a girl right now. Her name is, um, I think it's Janelle something. Here we are, Janelle Eliana. And let's just pop in here really quick. And she has 2.48 million subscribers. Let's go to her videos. And then I'm gonna go sort by here on the right hand side. And we're gonna go to, I'm gonna go to oldest actually. And she has hardly any videos on here, you guys. And it was a year ago that she uploaded. Am I seeing that right? Yes. Okay. So this girl or she knows somebody is a genius with SEO and marketing. Her first video that was ever done on this channel was 10 million views, 10 million views. But let's just dissect this here for a second. Van tour, solo female traveler, lives van life with pet snake you are curious one you're like who is this female traveling you know around the world assumably on her own and what there's a pet snake in it i mean it sparks your curiosity and look at how long the video is it's almost 30 minutes long youtube loves longer videos <laughs> youtube loves longer videos 10 million this is the other video that she needed to use I will get in the tricks here in a second, but I need to show you all the back end stuff of this. Let's go to a creator called Shelby Church. This will all come full circle for you. Shelby Church, she put out a video. Let's just go to her most viewed videos. And here it is, most, pop well, yeah, most popular. <clears throat> this one right here, I think this is a video that she dives into it. Usually on a YouTube creator's channel, there's a handful of videos that carry the entire channel. 
and she has maybe a handful on her channel that have the most amount of views and they carry it. YouTube keeps suggesting it over and over and over and that's how people are finding her channel, increasing watch time. Granted, she doesn't need to worry about it at this point. Same thing applies on my cleaning channel. Let's just go back there super quick, Andrea Jean Cleaning. I have about five or six videos that really carry my whole channel. And that's why I say you only need one video. Honestly, you only need one video, but it's a matter of which one. And it's a matter of how long it's going to take before YouTube picks up that video. Let's go to most popular right here. So you can see these views, 2.6 million views, 713 million, thousand views, 423,000 views, 170, 144. Wow. I just noticed this one now. Holy buckets, you guys. I didn't realize how fast this one took off. You know, I'm so busy managing these other channels that sometimes I don't pay attention that quickly. It takes me a while to pick up. This is wild. Oh my gosh, I could dive into this one in this video, but we're not gonna do that. Holy buckets. Let's just do something for fun. I wanna pop in here. Um, no, let me go back. I just wanna see the revenue on this video really, really quick. Oh my gosh, you guys. I did not plan to do this. Um, I'm gonna go to customize channel. Holy, I've never seen a video take off that quickly. And that's again, applying some strategies I'm gonna get into here. But this is important that you get all this background information. And I know you want this video to be super quick and fast and I would give it to you like that, but I need, I want you to learn. I want you to be successful, okay? Your video, your channel's views up for 86% due to interest or more in one of your videos. Okay, here's this one right here. I'm gonna go into this one. I'm curious, in six days, holy buckets, you guys, six days, $1,000 on this video. Ha, I set a goal, we'll see. I set a goal for the month of January actually to make $20,000 on this channel. I'll keep you posted, so make sure you describe. I'm not just saying that to lure you in, but I just, I really keep it honest with you because I remember when I first started and how frustrating and lonely it was, and I just wanted to be home with my kids and do something that I really love and get out of the corporate world. Um, and again, that's what supported my family 100% financially up until this point. So let me show you how I did it with this vinegar video. And so that you can stop wasting all the time. Before I dive into the super quick though, I wanna show you something on my meditation channel. I am monetized on that channel, but you guys, I don't make hardly any money on it. I think maybe a hundred dollars a month. So just because you get that 4,000 hours of watch time does not mean that you're going to make much money. That's the honest truth. Let me just give you a comparison here. And part of the being is because of how this channel has taken so many different, um, tip turns with it, deciding how I wanted to do it. And that, see, look at this $136, you guys. <laughs> So I just want you to know that, um, but you can hit a video out of the park with these tricks that I'm going to share with you here. So let me switch back to the cleaning channel. I'm going to show you what I did on a specific video. Um, if you've been with me since I started here on Instagram, I would um, just kind of share all the behind the scenes of this stuff here. Okay, so I'm going to go to, let me go back here. Let's pull up that vinegar video, the 2 million viewed video. All right, so put vinegar in your toilet and watch what happens. So you need to know who's in your space, okay? The big players are success leaves clues. I think I say this in almost every video, but it's important. Put vinegar into a toilet. So I ran across this video one day and it was by Brightside at 17 million views three years ago. And I thought, well, I know YouTube loves fresh content. Let me see if I can create a video like this, but adding my own twist to it. Maybe I try something different. And I had never done this before, so I was super excited. And I have a cleaning channel, so it made perfect sense. I also knew that YouTube loves watch time, so if I could make my video just a little bit longer, um, it would increase watch time and then YouTube would start pumping it out if it had a high enough click-through rate. But oddly enough, the click-through rate on this video is like two or 3%. It is so bad, you guys. It is so bad. So even if you have a bad click-through rate, sometimes your video can perform very, very well. Yes. So I found a video that I could not replicate, but use sort of as an inspiration video. And I say this all the time. I've said this on Instagram, YouTube and the internet is all recycled, regurgitated content for the most part. If we go to Brightside's channel, I mean, all of his, these videos are basically other blog posts on the internet of random garbage that this creator found and now has made entertaining YouTube videos around and rakes in millions, I don't know, maybe billions of dollars. I can't say that with certainty. 
Um, but the good thing is, is that you get to provide your own sort of unique twist on things. You get to provide your own inspiration, creativity, and wonder. Um, you get to serve your particular audience. Okay. So I just kind of want to unveil a lot of how YouTube operates and the algorithm. Um, the goal of YouTube is to make money. And so if there are highly viewed videos and if your falls in that category, YouTube is likely to also pick up your video because they can show ads on it. They've already demonstrated that there is, um, a need for that video or there's a high interest for that particular video. I hope that makes sense. Now let me show you how you can get 4,000 hours watch time faster with another strategy that I incorporated. And you're like, Andrea, why are you telling all this? And like I said, I really want you to be successful. The other thing that I know is most people will not stay till the end of this video. They want a quick fix. They're not going to take these tips that I'm sharing seriously and they're going to keep spinning their wheels and spinning their wheels and they're not going to apply anything. That's, I mean, that's generally how things go. I hope that is not you. I want you to be successful and shed joy and light and do something you love and help people in a really honest way. I want to pull this up really quick here because again, I've used this strategy six days ago, 137,000 views with my channel of under 100K. The simple trick makes your bathroom and toilet smell amazing. Simple trick makes your bathroom. I think I combined a couple ideas on this video right here. Um, what did I do here? I'm trying to just kind of re, oh, it was this one right here. So I saw this video by Natural Cures and I'm just like, okay, 801,000 views um, over eight months ago. I watched the video, this one is mine as well. And I got some ideas and I thought, okay, I can make this video even better and I can truly help people with the content that I'm going to make. And so there came the inspiration for this video right here. I am just beyond. Okay. Let me go to another creator, Gillian Perkins. If you're watching this video right here, you probably already know who Gillian Perkins is. I just appreciate her. Um, I don't watch much of her content anymore just because of where I'm at in this stage of things, but I did at one point. So I'm going to go to videos um, and then we're going to go to most viewed, most popular. Look at this, you guys. The, the top ranking viewed video, and again, subscribers has nothing to do with how much you get paid, okay? It has to do with the views on your videos. How to start a YouTube channel step-by-step, 2.6 million views. How to start, how to, okay? Pay attention to this. And I've talked about this before, but I cannot stress this enough. I saw this with Sunny Leonard Doozy, also on her channel when I started my meditation channel, which was then an entrepreneur channel. It's changed names a few times. And no one ever taught me this, but I just was looking at what successful people were doing and reverse engineered it. How to make YouTube videos with your phone. How to get more views on YouTube. How to make YouTube video for beginners. How to make custom thumbnails. How to, how to, how to. Why? Because oftentimes when you are a small creator to get found on YouTube has everything to do with the search bar. This search is so important, okay? So if you can title your videos accurately so people that can find you and it's not too competitive and kind of put keywords together to get interesting combinations of things, you often can do really successful things and get your videos found. And then YouTube starts to push your video out because you've already gained a lot of watch time under that particular video. How to videos are also a great way to start because people are more likely to stay to the end of the video because they honestly want to learn how to do something. And so you can see here on this particular YouTube how to guide. Um, again, I was not planning on creating this channel, um, but I thought as I launched my business boot camp, people are going to ask me questions about how to do certain kind of things on YouTube, like how to, um, promote your channel across other platforms, how to get the desktop mode, um, how to enable your community tab. And I thought rather than send them to other people's content, why don't I just make my own? Because I really enjoy this stuff anyway. And now I can teach it in the way that I want to, which means I don't have to get on camera and get ready with four kids. <laughs> you know, you may know how that goes. Okay. So the how to videos, at least when you're starting can be very helpful for your channel's growth. Let me show you how else I've used this strategy. Let's go to clean my space. I think she is the highest, um, has the most subscribers in sort of the cleaning how-to realm. What I did on her videos, and this was even before I had figured what Gillian and Sunny Leonard Doozy had done as I went to videos and I went to sort by, I went to the most popular. And what is one of the most popular videos on her channel? 
this one right here, how to clean grout. So I thought, okay, the market wants to know about how to clean grout. And y'all have a ton of grout in my house, like a ton of grout. And so I decided to make a video on how to clean grout, you guys. And now let's just go to the search bar, how to clean grout. I've created a whole playlist on grout. Um, so anytime someone searches for the word grout, my videos will often pop up, not only in YouTube search, this is another one, but also in suggested as well. I am waiting for top ch channels for the search term to populate here. This is an extension that I use. Um, I think this one is from vidIQ. Yep. And I'm number one for this particular search term, grout. I've maximized on the term grout, grout, grout. If something's working for you, double down on it. This is exactly what Vanessa Lau did. She had a YouTube video or an Instagram video and it took off. And she was not making Instagram content really before that. So she decided to create an entire business around Instagram. That one Instagram video carried her whole channel. Let's just see if it's still one of the most popular. Yep, it was this one right here. If you know Vanessa, you probably found her from this video. Catherine Manning, same concept. She <laughs> did this as well. Um, she was talking about blogging and Pinterest and all that. And then she had one video about YouTube that took off. So she decided to then change directions in her channel. And it was this one right here. You may have found Catherine from this particular video. Do you see what I'm talking about? When YouTube starts to pick you up for particular keywords with things, double down on it if it's something that you love. If you don't love it, I wouldn't do it because look at, she's made so many videos about YouTube after that. And if you don't love what you're doing, you're gonna quit and you're not gonna be persistent with it. So now let's dive into the usual suspects that you'll hear in all the other videos about how to increase your watch time. So let's just go, um, let's just go to my fitness channel. Like this is a brand new channel for me. This is a passion project for me. Um, I'm in no rush with any of these, but I do fitness every single day. In fact, in fact, when I first started my cleaning channel, I posted fitness content on there. And then I took a break and, you know, here we are. Here we are. They're like, this is my plan for many years to come of posting fitness content on this channel. Here's what you can do. Longer videos will perform better on YouTube. Again, YouTube loves watch time. Why? Because the longer that you are on the platform, the more opportunity they have to serve you up ads, which means YouTube makes money. Yes? Yes. All right. Next thing, end screen. Let's just go into, I'm gonna go to manage videos here and I'll show you a visual aid of what I mean. You know, at the end of a video, it will pop up. Let's go to this one. It will pop up on the left-hand side, click end screen, next videos that you can watch. So this is the end screen that I currently have set. Let's just play it quick, if it'll play for me. So you can see right here, I have my most recent upload and then I have best for viewer. Now I should go ahead and put a playlist in here, but I have not made any playlists on this channel. It is so new and I have to figure out how I wanna title the playlist because when you title your playlist, you wanna title them for strong keywords as well. I've done this on my meditation channel. But if you put a playlist in here, that's really good. Let me show you something else. I'll show you how I did this on my meditation channel. You guys, I'm giving it to you all here. I'm giving it to you all. Um, now, everything I talk about here, it's not like you're going to implement it overnight and you're going to be like a millionaire on YouTube. Now you could, <laughs> you could, um, but it takes time. But if you do these strategies over and over, they will add up for you. Like you just saw like live and raw on that 167,000 viewed video that was published six days ago. Let's go over here. I'll talk about the three month magic. Um, let me pop in here really quick. I just want to show you what I mean by putting in this one, this uh, description box, I put playlists in here as well. Let's see, you can see right here. This is a playlist. This is a playlist. This is a playlist. Um, I use bit.ly to create these nice little playlist titles because it looks way better than this thing right here. I mean, look at this URL playlist question mark. Like I need to fix that, but I'm a one woman show over here. I can only do so much at one time. These ones look much better. People are more likely to click on something that looks legitimate than rather than like spaghetti and meatballs or something. Um, so in your end screen, if you can put a playlist that can be helpful because then people are exposed to a ton of different videos. So here I have the second one, playlist, powerful morning meditations. Um, if they click in it, there's 32 videos. So then maybe people end up staying on your channel longer. That's the goal. Um, in the description box, playlists, videos, and then also you can pin a comment. Um, and 
for pinning a comment when you are first starting, usually you'll put like another video that you think that person, the viewer would find helpful. At this point, I'm not doing that. My goal is to get people to sign up for my newsletter so that I have, I'm gonna open this up to show you, so that I have a direct way to connect with you. I don't own YouTube, I don't own Instagram, I don't own any of those social media platforms, yet those social media platforms all have your email address. If something were to happen, they go bankrupt, anything. I want your email address so that I can be in contact with you. Um, I know you have more watch time than me and describe it in my recent way, but my new is more. So I win. That's like, guys, I see stuff like this. <laughs> I remove this crap if I see it. It's just rude. Spread love, light, and kindness is my motto on things. I, I want to be in contact with you. Um, there's a few ladies that I email with back and forth, just kind of helping them. And um, it's just the best way for me to have contact with you to help you on your journey. Um, also, if I have products that I think might be helpful for you, in addition to that, I can connect with you. I also share behind the scenes of building this business right here, like in the moment stuff, my post-it wall, just a lot of stuff. So that's why I put this here first. This is more important to me. But most people use this. Um, to put you into another video or connect you to another video on their channel. And that is a smart move. I just had to make some decisions around how I wanted to do that. The other thing that you could do is ask people to share out your video. Um, I know this is harder when you are first getting started because just depending, I mean, on my cleaning channel, there were um, several folks who did share out my videos because they would say, hey, I shared this with my mom. But if you want to prompt people at the end of the video, say like, hey, share this out if you found this helpful. Um, I know that Heather Robertson does this at the end of her videos. Boho Beautiful also asks people to share out their videos. So that's another way to get 4,000 hours of watch time on your videos. You can share your YouTube videos to Facebook. I will leave a link in the description box for a video that I created on this. So let me just show you something here really quick. I was not sharing anything to Facebook. The only thing that I use Facebook for is my private group, Unstoppable Women in Business. But I realized I was getting a ton of traffic just from Facebook. I think other people were sharing things. So let's go to Customize Channel. And so now I will share videos to Facebook. It's a free social media platform. You know, why not use them um, that are available to you? So let's go to analytics and I'm gonna go to reach, traffic sources, YouTube search. You can see this is generally how your channel will first start to grow is through YouTube church, church <laughs> search. But you guys, look at this. 41.2% of the traffic is coming from YouTube, or excuse me, Facebook, Google search, 23.5%, okay? YouTube owns, um, Google owns YouTube. And so a lot of my cleaning videos pop up in Google and then they come to face, or excuse me, <laughs> they come to um, YouTube to watch the video. I'll just show you here super, super quick, like how to clean a bathtub. If someone was going into Google, the first thing that pops up is our videos in almost all searches that people do. And a lot of people would prefer video over written text. Videos are so, so important, especially if you make how-to related ones. Here is another excellent place to look um, to find videos that could potentially perform well. Go to YouTube Trending and I check this, I don't know, once a week, a couple times a week, just depending if I think about it. And the things that I'm really paying attention to are the titles and then the keywords of the videos. And so I'll just look through here and see if anything would relate to any of my particular channels. Can you com um, create completely random content on your YouTube channel? You can, but I don't recommend it when you are first starting out on YouTube. I think it's going to be much harder to grow. So if I were to find something on here, air frying with Liza, I may create a video on that AirPods Max. Um, I do have a video about how to clear, um, clean AirPods. I, I might look into this one a little bit more. Um, so this has given me an idea. This is a new trend here. So I have a cleaning channel, but I'm wondering people might want to know how to clean these particular things. Also, I could maybe do something on this YouTube how-to channel. I don't know. So just an idea is to check the YouTube trending. 
Um, I would just randomly pick stuff. Again, when you are first starting out, I do not think it's the best route to take because you're chasing views, you're chasing subscribers, and you're just going to find yourself in this kind of rabbit hole rat race that you are not happy in. Now, channels like Brightside, they can get away with creating such randomness on their channel. And part of, I think, what attracts people to them is because of the nature of the content itself. It just sparks curiosity. It kind of makes you think. There's funny stuff on here. They're shorter type videos, um, considering. So when you're first starting, I wouldn't do this approach. So I think what happens, this is my theory, I can't say this with 100% certainty, but um, your subscribers can sometimes give your videos a boost in watch time. Now, the majority of your watch time is not going to come from subscribers. So I know it seems counterintuitive, but I think when you have a subscriber base, so for example, this is what I think happened with this video right here. I think my subscribers, actually, I think it ranked number one now that I think about it um, in terms of my latest viewed video. So it gave it a big boost and it sent signals to YouTube like, ooh, this could be a good video. And then YouTube started promoting it and promoting it. And then it just is like going viral faster than I can even imagine at this point. Um, and this, this one video right here, we know this can get up to 17 million views. Um, it could reach the threshold of what we had seen there. I do think it is better to start out with one particular thing. If I look at people that have been uber successful, there's a thing that they have in common. Um, I've shown a couple of these ladies before. Their content is all consistent. Like we're talking about people with 5.3 million subscribers. And she at this point wouldn't even have to upload all fitness content on her channel, but she still does. Um, another one is Mad Fit. She does all fitness content on her channel. Um, your channel is a lot like a website, and I've said this before in terms of how SEO works. Um, but she also has a channel that is a, all about food. She could probably start uploading that content on this channel, but I don't think it would perform as well. And you may say to yourself, um, well, her other channels are just growing because she has this following. And that is true to some extent, but as you can see here, I have multiple channels and it's not like they're all of a sudden just growing at crazy um, speed of light sort of uh, situation here. They're so different. So people that are into fitness may not necessarily be into like how to do YouTube. And the reason I got this idea is because when I first started watching YouTube, I'd watch some mommy people because I just had had a daughter and I felt so alone in motherhood. And I thought, well, how do these women, like how does the love Meg, how does she like stay home, make money? And I've watched her whole life transform on the internet and do it. And I could never quite figure out how because these people don't also do videos about how to do that. And I thought, you know what, when I figure out how to go from corporate to fully self-employed with something that I'm doing it, I'm gonna teach people how to do it, okay? That was my goal here. So now I'm gonna talk about how I have a channel with random content. You saw it was this meditation channel. And certain videos can perform well and, and others um, not so well. But if we go to most popular here, this one right here, 108, it still gets views, you guys, it's still getting views on this video. And I made this video on this current how-to channel, YouTube how-to channel. But what I did in here to help drive some traffic is I then put in here, looking for more how-to YouTube videos. Check out this channel I created 100% for that. And then I have the link right in here. Yes. So anything that you can do to connect your content is a huge theme in this channel. Find what's already performing well on YouTube. It's to YouTube's best interest to then promote your video if your audience is interested in how you've created that video. Thumbnails, thumbnails, thumbnails. When we went to this like van life um, creator right here, Janelle, I mean, it sparks curiosity. It leaves something up to the imagination. Human beings are, they want answers to questions, okay? They want to find solutions to things. And so they're, they're, they're driven by curiosity. They're driven by curiosity. So you'll find this in another big YouTuber, Chris Fix, and how he does his YouTube videos. And what's interesting about him, I didn't pick this up from him, but I realized a relationship. He never shows himself in his YouTube videos either. It's all his hey hands. Guys, Chris and I started doing this in my cleaning channel before I'd ever seen anyone do it because again, I didn't have time to get ready and get on camera and you guys just want the information as fast as possible. It's, you're not here for me. You're here how to fix something or do something better um, in your life. But look at this guy, 7.18 million subscribers. 
But let's also look at his thumbnails here. I mean, it leaves curiosity, like how did it go from this to this? It's super clean. Here's the before, here's the after. Look at this one right here. This one was actually in YouTube trending. I had seen it the other day, antifreeze test. You're like, what? That's so cool. What is going on? I wanna know, like what is the best antifreeze um, for your particular vehicle? This one right here, headlight restoration using toothpaste. Like that seems so weird. Um, and bizarre, but you have to deliver. That's the thing. Otherwise, it's really going to affect your click-through rate. YouTube will no longer promote your video across the platform. So if you are creating curiosity, you better deliver on it. Um, and that was my ultimate goal with creating this video that you're watching right here. I wanted to give you the most. I want it to be the most beneficial to you. I want you to feel like you don't need to go to any other YouTube how-to channel um, to get this content that I'm sharing with you about how to get 4,000 hours of watch time. And I gave you way more than that. You know, I showed you so many different things. Um, it gives me a lot of joy to see you succeed and be successful as well. All right. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up, subscribe. I hope that you will sign up for my weekly, bi-weekly newsletter, just depending upon when I can get that out. I appreciate you greatly. Let me know in the comments section what is new for you, what you learned here, what you'd like to see more of, and I'd be happy to create content to help support you even further. All right, take care, my friend. One last thing I think I need to dive into a little bit better is the three month magic videos that have performed well on my channel generally take about three months in order for YouTube to pick them up. And I know Catherine Manning, when her channel started to take off, it was a very similar situation. So if a video is not performing well, sometimes you just need to be a bit more patient and things could turn around.